welcome back to Monvidia Capital. Today, we're diving into the extraordinary journey of UK rap sensation, Central C. From his humble beginnings to chart-topping glory, we'll take you through the highs and lows of his music career, exploring the motivations and inspirations behind his massive success up until this very day. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. We'll take you back to his early days when he was crafting his skills and finding his unique voice in the ever-evolving world of UK rap. He's gone from dealing drugs to having number one hit songs and chilling with Harry Styles at the Brit Awards. As he gears up for his takeover of the US music market, we'll take you back to his early days. Central C. Born Oakley Neil Caesar Sue to an Irish mother and a Guyanese father, C was raised in Shepherd's Bush, West London. Central C's passion for music sparked at a young age. C says, I could see everything negative in front of me, and that's what led me to rap. He picked up writing poetry aged eight from his mum, prompted by his desire for the things he didn't have. A phone, a bike, clothes. He remembers when £10,000 was a lifetime goal. At 13, he started making music with little outside influence beyond Tupac's Ghetto Gospel on MP3. He did regular jobs in the meantime, by which he mostly means dealing drugs. When you're coming from where I'm coming from, everybody from all walks of life, nine times out of ten, they had to do that. It's like learning to ride a bike. In my little radius of Shepherd's Bush, there's like six, seven phones ringing all day long, making like two thousand pounds a day. Who do you think is making this money? It's little kids. That's why this music thing, I find it quite strange. Because I'm telling my brother's stories. I'm telling all my people's stories. They are just as important as me. You're fascinated by my story. I don't know why, because it's all of ours. Growing up in West London, he was exposed to a wide range of black genres of music, such as reggae, jazz, dancehall and rap. These genres inform his eclectic style. His dad's taste in music also played an important part in Central C's development as an artist. In early 2015, Central C went on Link Up TV to release Street Heat Freestyle, which shows a young Sench rapping over a J. Cole instrumental. Oh, it's got a beat hot. I've been flashed like a photo. Barely making noise. I've been looking at the whole room. Another song he did that went unnoticed due to his early grind, trying to get into the music industry, was a song called Pull Up, which is more influenced by the main UK genre at the time, Afro Swing. He first saw success when he appeared alongside Jay, Us, Bonkers, and many more on the Jungen and Sneakbo Ain't On Nuttin' remix in 2015. C started putting out music in 2017, inspired by the melodious trap wave sound that was engulfing the UK rap scene at the time. Listening now, he sounds nearly unrecognisable. The drab auto-tune in his sing-song flow worlds away from the brutalist nature of his music today. He was, he says, on this pretty boy ting, kind of, that's how people were perceiving me. I was just trying to find a sound and make money. Some of the trap wave songs he was doing included Transition, his next up freestyle on Mixtape Madness, and Back 2, Back with Cairo Keys. C made a freestyle about COVID on Akon's Locked Up Beat, and things started coming together. Cole's rising, control the population. Deliver us from evil, leave me from temptation. Fuck the God's creation, that's a different conversation. He started establishing his own sound, and things will pick up once he encountered his now manager, YBs. Fast forward to June 2020, when he unleashed his debut single, Day in the Life, introducing his drill-inspired sound to the world. We'll explore how this breakout hit paved the way for his subsequent chart toppers like Molly and the game-changing Loading, which made history on the UK singles chart. After debuting his new drill-inspired sound in June 2020 with Day in the Life, his breakout single was a massive success, shedding his previous style. Turn off the auto-tune, let's hear how you really rap, he quipped on the track. Central C set the music world ablaze with Day in the Life, 
his drill-inspired banger. It now has 78 million views on YouTube and 177 million streams on Spotify alone. What makes this song different from his early music is that it embraces more of the skittering hi-hats and sliding bass lines of UK drill, and his rapping turned austere and jagged. The auto-tune style of music didn't seem to be connecting with his audience as much as he may have hoped. He then released Instagram freestyles, showing people that he can still rap and fluctuate in his style. After releasing his first drill track, Day in the Life, everything changed. He hit his first million views and never looked back. But that was just the beginning. Day in the Life followed up with Molly, and then his biggest song in 2020 loading. Loading was even more successful, being the first of his songs to reach the top 20 of the UK singles chart. Five months later, he had a number two UK album to his name and was modelling for Drake's Nike collection. Sench decided to take a creative turn from what he's released all of 2020 and turn to a more female oriented topic with his single commitment issues, which was released on the 11th of February 2021 marking a strategic release as Valentine's Day was around the corner. Central C Commitment Issues is now certified platinum in the UK. It now has over 64 million views on YouTube and over 146 million streams on Spotify alone. The influence of UK drill music has spread widely, but few British rappers have broken out in the United States. Sench is one of the rare exceptions. As a result of his major success, He's quickly becoming the face of London's resilient drill scene as the Chicago-born sound makes its way around the rap diaspora. Although it may seem like he simply wrote a hit song and got lucky, there are a lot more contributing factors to his success than what meets the eye. It was various tactics and marketing decisions that made Central C one of the biggest artists on the GRM daily platform. 2021 was a great year for Central C. He continued after the release of the first single of 2021 with the release of his debut mixtape, Wild West, which was released on the 12th of March. The mixtape debuted at number two on the UK Albums Chart and number one on the UK R&B Albums Chart, an amazing achievement for the rapper. The mixtape was attached to a marketing campaign of everything being played with the color orange, from the mixtape cover to his music videos and his clothing campaign with the popular UK streetwear brand, Trapstar. He was matching his clothing to other objects in his videos, such as cars or walls. The use of color coordination is aesthetically pleasing to the audience and demands attention. This helps him stand out amongst other artists on the platform in a world where thumbnails are seen before music is heard. In the lead up to this mixtape release, he used billboard promotion around London. Billboard promotion targets a high concentration of people in specific areas, which can be good if your target audience is of a certain demographic or location. He also has a mural painted of him. This was perhaps more effective than a billboard as onlookers would appreciate the artistic value and look for longer. As well as the billboard promotions, merchandise is another avenue for music artists to create another income stream. It can be financially rewarding, bring you closer to fans, and increase artist exposure. Central released CDs in March 2021, promoting the mixtape Wild West. He also collaborated with Chicken Kitchen, giving out 200 free meals in return for fans taking photos with his mural. Fans post to their Instagrams promoting his album. Music-wise, he's followed this up with the release of his single Obsessed With You, in September 2021, which reached number four on the UK singles chart, becoming his second single to reach the top 20. This was seen as another marketing strategy of his, which implies that he had made remixes of popular songs outside of his genre using the queen of viral short songs, Pink Panthers' Just For Me. This tactic allows him to draw fans from other genres that may not usually listen to his music, and has nostalgic value for people who like the original tracks. He has collaborated with fellow UK rapper Fredo, Ed Sheeran, and UK rap duo DBE with the notable single Overseas. In addition, away from the UK, 
he has collaborated with more European artists, including Italian rapper Rondo and French rapper Frise Corleone. Those European collaborations expanded his brand awareness in those countries and made him an international and no longer a national artist. 2022 started off with a bang for Central C, who was nominated for three Brit Awards at Brit Awards 2022 with MasterCard. He was nominated for Best New Artist, Best Hip Hop Slash Grime Slash Rap Act, and Song of the Year for Obsessed With You. Currently, one of the most recognizable UK artists on the world stage and having mastered the means of communicating his music to the masses, Central C returns with his second mixtape, 23, released on the 25th of February, 2022, a quick on the draw follow up to his breakout mixtape, Wild West. It featured Obsessed with You as its lead single. The other lead singles from the mixtape, Retail Therapy, Straight Back to It, Khabib, and Cold Shoulder, were released respectively. He might have been around for longer than people think, but the latest embodiment of Central C was arguably one of the biggest breakthrough acts of 2021. One track heavier than Wild West, Central C's 23 is the next stage in his smoothing of the gritty UK drill tradition, bridging culture, class and countries, and running rampant on every online social platform available. And my, not, I got like proper demotivated, like I just thought, fuck it, like, let me not, um, I'm getting old, like what I'd always used to do, yeah, so I started making music when I was like 14, like going to the studio and actually recording. I had been writing from younger than that, but I started recording like 14, and like 15, like I really, I, I realised like it's a business and we can make money off of it, and I started seeing how you can distribute the music and whatever, uh -huh. so I was trying to, um, I was trying to blow. I wasn't just making music for the sake of it. I was actually really trying to blow. So um, I kept saying to myself, like setting goals, like, oh, if I, do, if I get to 17, or I'd probably say like, if I get to 18 and I'm not where I want to be, then I'm just going to call it a day. Cause I Immersed in competitive sports and symbolizing Central C's age at the time, the number 23 sets the bar high, aiming to surpass all expectations and criticisms for this young talent from West London. Central C's adeptness at musical diplomacy shines brilliantly in his track Eurovision, aptly named for its collaboration with a seismic wave of European talent. Cultivated through carefully nurtured relationships over the past couple of years, the song takes a darker twist, complementing C's distinctive blend of UK drill. The track features an inimitable aggressive enunciation and showcases C's ability to bridge cultures and genres with his music. With the addition of Italian rapper Rondo's aggression and the cosmopolitan voices of Spain, Italy, and France's rap heavyweights like Baby Gang, Morad, Benny Jr., Ash, and the support of his good friend, rapper A2 Anti, who hails from Shepherd's Bush, Eurovision, becomes a mesmerizing fusion of diverse talents. As we traverse through the mixtape, we encounter rapid bursts of tracks, some lasting only a couple of minutes, with four of the 15 songs being less than two minutes long, perfectly catering to the fast-paced TikTok streaming generation. Despite some critics questioning its substance, Central C and his team remain resolute in delivering a meaningful message through his music. Standout tracks from the mixtape encapsulate the essence of Central C's artistry, leaving us eagerly anticipating the untapped potential that this talented artist has yet to unveil. On the closing track of 23, titled Lil Bro, Central C builds upon a strong emotional foundation, delivering his rap with clarity over lively drums and impactful bass. This heartfelt song features his real-life little brother, Duke Caesar, credited as Lil Bro engaging in a powerful exchange of verses as C strives to guide his younger sibling away from the streets. I thought the roads was cool as a young boy. It's not though. I got misled. He raps. Central C's music is characterized by its bold sincerity and his latest track End of the Beginning is no exception. This final piece breaks away from his present discography, showcasing his versatility as he raps over modern trap-infused production a style well-known in the UK. Having already achieved great success with his first two mixtapes, Wild West in 2021 and 23 Inches in 2022, both debuting at number two and number one on the UK charts respectively.
Central Sea's talent has been recognized with a nomination for British Artist of the Year at the prestigious Brit Awards, alongside Harry Styles and Stormzy. His music is a tapestry of paradoxes, seamlessly blending the romantic and realist, the hard and unguarded, and the nostalgic and present, making him a truly expressive artist with a unique voice in the rap scene. Credit must be given to Central C's manager, YBs, for their exceptional branding, marketing, and delivery of his singles and projects. Have like a manager or any kind mm. of people behind you when these songs started popping off? Um, yeah, I had my manager, I met my manager like a year before we dropped that song. Mm. And he, he hit me like... YBs? Yeah. I heard that he was a... Like I heard from a friend of mine that he's like pretty respected and that they think he's kind of pretty integral and in you being able to pull all this off would you agree with that yeah no he is for sure but it's like it's a, he's got a unique story as well like me and him we, we um we met he had no um he's not here by the way he's in the uk i was wondering i'm like oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, Are these guys managers i can't really tell you no nah, they're, they're just my <laughs> bros right but, but they've been with me from the beginning too um but my manager, we met him. I met him like a year before we dropped that song, right? But I didn't, um, I didn't have no music really, like at all. And I didn't know what I was doing. I was more so on the roads, and he was meeting me here and there, just trying to like encourage me to do music, to do music and take it more serious. But I did, I didn't have like the right song. I was going to studio here and there, but I knew all of the music on my phone at the time wasn't right. So when I came with that song, came to him, I said, look, this is the one. He's like, you sure? I said, yeah, cool. I said, yeah, this is the one. Let's let's push it. I want I want you to help me work uh, work it. Um, he said, all right, cool. But he, he and like me even saying that to him was kind of like it was like a leap of faith for me too. Cause I didn't really trust no no managers or nothing. Like prior to that, I've met quite a few people in the industry already. Mm. Even though like I hadn't um, made too much noise, I had met a lot of people like in the in the period of. Um, me trying to blow all that time, like maybe what was it, 16 to, to 20, I'm 23 now, I just turned 23. So 16 to like whatever age I was, 22, I had met a lot of people in the industry and I, I didn't like how they, they move and uh, it's, like it was, I could um, tell like, I can tell people's energy like right away. So when I, but when I met my, um, my man, we, like, I could tell he was genuine, like almost, almost straight away. But he, he, the weird thing was he had no experience in music. Uh, he was just telling me like, how it is. He was telling me, I don't really have too much experience in, in managing or anything, um, but I'm a quick learner and whatever, whatever. And he didn't tell me, like, you see, when you meet a lot of people in music and whatever, they sell you a dream mm -hmm. and they tell you, like, they tell you what you want to hear. He wasn't doing any of that. And I, I hate that stuff, like, when people do that and try to sell you a dream, tell you what you want to hear and all that. So when he was just keeping it like 100, it was refreshing to me. I said, all right, cool. Maybe this is the guy I want to rock with. And, um, and yeah, it was. It was a blessing to meet him, really and truly. Because um, look what we've done. Mm. And he had no experience in this thing. He's a, he, is, he, was not, he weren't lying. He's a quick learner. He's, he's a genius, really. He's a genius still. So we, we've, and he's, that's just my team, me and him. We really got no other like, team members too tough. I got my brothers with me that obviously pay, play a big part, um, but yeah, it's a small, small team. Their strategic approach led to the massive success of Doja, his most triumphant single to date, captivating millions of fans worldwide. Doja, which samples Eve and Gwen Stefani's 2001 hit Let Me Blow Your Mind and name drops Doja Cat, instantly went viral on social media. The track's familiar production, cheeky lyrics, and celebrity name check contributed to its explosive international breakout, reaching the top five in eight countries. Central C made history as the first UK act to appear on Lyrical Lemonade with Doja, generating over 13 million plays from a single snippet on TikTok. The accompanying music video, directed by Cole Bennett, stayed true to Tench's style while showcasing vibrant turquoise-themed visuals. 
took my virgin's camera. Sometimes that's what works, but it's like people think too far into like thinking that they need this like big set production. But a lot of times people want to see something raw and authentic. Yeah, that's why with this video I want to like blend kind of the both worlds together. When people are saying that uh, it's less um, like there's less networking and like inviting yeah. people out here. No. Where in America everyone shows love. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not like that. Here. Like, you see, you see in America, like studio, you just end up pulling up studio. There's like better rappers and another rappers coming in, coming in, and everyone's just networking, like shamelessly, kind of like here's too much pride in that. Like, no one's really on that. This milestone marked the rapper's crossover appeal to American audiences after already establishing a strong fan base in the UK and across Europe. The one minute, 45 second track produced by Lee Tech and YJ followed the trend of sampling nostalgic 2000s hits in drill music. With its energetic vibes and captivating visuals, Doja was crafted to resonate with Central C's Gen Z audience, who are avid consumers of music on TikTok. TikTok has emerged as a crucial aspect of the music industry, with deals in place between the platform and music distributors and record labels, enabling them to license music for use. Artists receive royalties for their music featured on the app, and distributors ensure these royalties are duly paid to the artists. As a go-to platform for discovering new music, TikTok attracts a flood of songs from record labels, music marketers, artists, and creators alike. Central C's Doja has achieved a groundbreaking feat, becoming the most streamed UK rap song ever on Spotify, surpassing Ramsey's Barking. This outstanding success has also earned him the title of the first UK rapper with a platinum solo single in France, with the song amassing over 122 million views on YouTube and a staggering 400 million streams on Spotify alone. <laughs> Capitalizing on the success of Doja, Central C devised a clever marketing tactic to prevent leaks and maintain intrigue around his music. He traveled to Los Angeles to record his LA leakers freestyle where he showcased his lyrical prowess, exposing UK slang and translating it into American slang while subtly flaunting his opulent lifestyle and celebrating his achievements. In the freestyle, he also addressed the controversy surrounding his previous track, Doja, which has now amassed impressive streaming numbers on both Spotify and YouTube. Following this, Central C embarked on a small campaign by releasing a four-song EP titled No More Leaks on October 14th, 2022. Among the standout tracks was One Up, providing a taste of what was to come in 2023, and it garnered significant attention with millions of streams and views. Towards the end of 2022, Central C released the single Let Go, cleverly sampling the hook from Passenger's 2012 hit Let Her Go, which became a massive success with millions of streams and views. Central C's journey continued to inspire and resonate with fans, solidifying his position as one of the biggest rappers in the UK and a prominent figure in the drill genre. His success extended to the United States, where he embarked on a successful worldwide tour and earned prominent spots on international festival lineups. Moreover, he ventured into the fashion industry, modeling for various collections. Teaming up with fellow UK rapper Dave, Central C released the collaborative EP titled Split Decision on June 4th, 2023. The lead single, Sprinter, became an early contender for Song of the Summer. In a significant milestone, Central C signed a joint venture deal with Columbia Records in partnership with Sony Music UK, hinting at even greater success to come. He became the first British male rapper to be featured in XXL's 2023 freshman class a remarkable achievement that further propelled his transatlantic breakthrough. It's been confirmed that UK rap star Central C has signed a joint venture deal with Columbia Records for two projects, with the deal rumored to be worth up to $25 million. Despite the challenges faced by UK rap in gaining mainstream success in the US, Central C's impressive LA leakers freestyle and content gained him recognition and a growing global fan base. As his popularity soared, Central C's Instagram following reached over 8 million, granting him opportunities for sponsorships and collaborations within the fashion industry. 
In July 2023, Central Sea stunned the world once again by collaborating with none other than the highly successful rapper Drake for On The Radar Radio Freestyle. Additionally, he has an upcoming collaboration with rising US artist Ice Spice. In the United States, breaking into the UK hip-hop scene can be challenging unless you have a genuine interest in it. However, the 25-year-old Central C has effortlessly overcome any obstacles in his path. He describes his music as ignorantly conscious, creating a captivating dichotomy that has resonated with audiences. Despite the challenges, Central C has sprinted down a clearer path with a drill-adjacent sound and a mix of eclectic, chart-friendly samples. His global appeal is evident as four of his tracks have surpassed the 200 million stream mark on Spotify, a feat only achieved by a few of his UK rap peers like Stormzy and Dave. Notably, his single Sprinter has been dominating the charts, spending nine weeks at number one in the UK and recently achieving Brit certified platinum status. This accomplishment is historic as it marks the first time a UK rap slash hip hop song has achieved such a milestone with over 600,000 single sales, all within a remarkably short period of just two months since its release. With multiple singles achieving Brit certified platinum status, Central C's trajectory appears unstoppable, leaving fans curious and excited about what he has in store next. From his humble beginnings to his current successful career, Central C's journey serves as a testament to the power of dedication, talent, and passion, proving that unparalleled success is achievable. Thank you all for joining us on this incredible show. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more motivational stories from the world of entertainment, finance, and business. Hey,